Before Sedgwick faded away, she said, Orange, and sit. So I've concluded she's somewhere in Orange City. But where in the world, both past and future, would one find an Orange City? If I could duplicate her spell, I could join her immediately. But I don't know how she made it work. Hmm. I can't believe that I, Pembroke, the teacher of wizards, is stumped by a mere apprentice. What worries me is that she did not get yesterday's spelling words. How will she get back here? Uh-oh, I'm back at the City of Orange Police Department. Well, at least I know where I am. But I'm in the wrong century. I'll never find the wizard here. Pembroke, Pembroke, please help! I see her, I can hear her, but I still can't go to her. But wait, maybe I can send my voice. Sedgwick, Sedgwick, can you hear me? Sedgwick, can you hear me? Pembroke, Pembroke, is that you? Where are you? Don't hide from me. I'm projecting my voice. See if you can find something hollow and square that will amplify it. Wait a minute, don't leave me. I found something, can you see it? Yes, but what is it? I don't know. It says, hippity hop running shoes, size 10. Will it work? This is Pembroke, coming to you from the castle. Pembroke, less volume. I don't want to explain all this. I have a feeling I get all mixed up and in trouble. How is this? Perfect. You won't leave me, will you? I didn't think you trusted me. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I think I've done a very stupid thing. You're right about that. You fooled around with a type of spell you're not ready to handle yet. You should only try those after you become a full-fledged wizard. I'll always need you, Pembroke, especially now. Will you ever forget me? I'll think about it. In the meantime, that box is the only way I can reach you, so don't lose it. I think someone's coming. Talk to you later. Come to think of it, if the wizard was in this century, maybe the police could find him. Hi, I'm Officer Forrester from the Arts Police Department. Uh, how do you do? Hi, I'm Sedgwick. Sure. Would you like for me to put that box over here for you? No, uh, I mean, thank you, but this is fine. Okay, I understand you want to file a missing persons report. Well, I am looking for someone who's missing. Is that part of police work, to find missing people? Yes, if you live in the city of Orange and the person that you feel is missing is from the city also, we will take a report to determine if he's really missing or maybe it's just a case where he didn't tell you where he was going. If he was going on a visit, I'm sure he would have left a note. What next? We try to determine his mental condition the last time you saw him, whether he was happy or sad. If he was his usual self, grumpy, well then what? Normally we'll check the circumstances surrounding his being missing. If there was foul play involved, if he was seen with strangers the last time, or if there's signs of a fight or a struggle at his house. And you put all this in your report? Where does that report go? If we suspect that there's foul play involved, we'll forward that to our investigation division for follow-up. Who else might get a copy of this report? Our patrol division. At each of our, before we go in the streets, we have a pre-patrol briefing, and the sergeant will advise the patrolman on the streets of this individual, his description, and who to contact if he's located. What else can you tell me? How long do the police wait until they go and search for the person? It depends on the circumstances involved. If it appears that there is possibly foul play, we would begin immediately, or depending on the age of the, uh, the person that's missing, small children, we will begin to look for immediately. If, uh, under, if there doesn't appear to be any foul play involved, we normally wait 24 hours. Do you pass the, the word on to the other police departments? Yes, we do. By means of a teletype, we send to all the agencies within Orange County, uh, advising them that this person is missing, and if he's located, that they'll contact the Orange Police Department. Are you certain you don't want to put the box down? No, thank you. I'll hold on to it. Okay, what's his name, please? Well, he's not really in there. Who? Pembroke. Um, well. Okay, is that the name of the missing person? No, the wizard is missing. Okay, his name, please. Well, that is his name. Okay, a street address? Street address? Uh, I don't know. Well, you do live in the city of Orange, don't you? That's right. That's where I am now, aren't I? You sure you know where you're at? I'm sure now. You just told me. Let me ask you this. What year is this? The year? I, I don't know. Well, how did you get here? 
I don't know that either. How old is this missing person? Oh, I know the answer to that. He's 500 years old. 500 years old? Mm hmm Excuse me for a minute. Sure. Officer. I really want to thank you for this report. I mean, I got this loony toony over there that's telling me she's looking for a little wizard. You're in trouble, Sedgwick. What do you mean? That officer is talking with the other one. I think they're going to take you away. She's going to find out. Oh, Pembroke, I've got to get out of this century. I just want to come home. I promise if you help me now, I'll never be touchy again. I swear it. You wouldn't be in this trouble if you'd done your spelling homework before you went blundering off doing eccentric spells. I know that now. Pembroke, do these words mean anything to you? Severe, suspicion, voluntary, and innocence. Yes, they do. And if you ever expect to get out of there, you'd better write them down. Students, write these new words down too. Maybe all of us working together will somehow help Sedgwick get back here. The first word is severe. This is a severe strain on my patience. Severe. The next word is suspicion. When the wizard disappeared, Sedgwick felt there was suspicion of foul play. Suspicion. The third word is innocence. They had the innocence of angels. Innocence. And finally, the last word is voluntary. Sedgwick's filing a missing person report was voluntary. Voluntary. Let's get right to correcting these words. If you missed any, simply cross it out and write it correctly. The first was severe. It is spelled S-E-V-E-R-E. -E. The second word was suspicion. It is spelled S-U-S-P-I-C-I-O-N. The third word was innocence. It is spelled I-N-N-O-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. And the last word was voluntary. It is spelled V-O-L-U-N-T-A-R-Y. Now study any words you may have missed carefully, so you'll be ready for tomorrow's test. Did you get all those, Sedgwick? Uh-oh, here they come now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to more or less convince you to go with us, because we're going to give you a ride, you'll enjoy it, and it'll be easy. Here's some nice drugs, and I'm going to Never Never Land. What's happening? Okay, just so kind of float away with us. We'll just They call this a car, but it looks more like a cage to me. 
They say they are going to transport me to a hospital and take me there on a voluntary basis, which is not quite true. I don't want to go. I hate to worry you more, but we're facing a serious problem. A worse problem? What? A hospital has a lot of electrical equipment. Never mind asking what that is. I'll explain it to you later. So what's the serious problem? My voice won't transmit. You mean I have to get out of here before they take me away? But my spells aren't working. I already tried that. And I'm locked inside this car. Oh, Pembroke, tell me what to do. Where have I gone wrong? Do you have a couple of hundred years? Please, Pembroke, no joking at a time like this. I think you know. The spelling words. I'll have to go back over all of them to find my mistake. Right. And you never did have yesterday's new ones. Let's hope you spell them right the first time. This is my only hope. If I don't get them right, I'll never get home. Never. Your next stop will be that hospital. And I'll be stuck in this century forever. Oh, Pembroke, it doesn't pay to be impatient. Will I ever learn? All right, let's do the words. Courage and good spelling will see you through a lot of troubled times. Okay, let's go. Take out your pencils and paper. Uh-oh, it looks like the syllables are mixed up. You'll have to look at the syllables and decide what the word is and then write it down correctly. Stan sub chul put together correctly is substantial. Got it? Okay, when you see the syllables on the screen, write them down in their proper order. Here we go. Good luck. Here's a clue. Sedgwick read that this person was part of a plot. Sir Roberts is one in the King's Guard. This one is only one syllable. Can you figure it out? Sedgwick thinks someone has done this to the wizard. If Sedgwick hadn't regained her voice, it would have been a what? Sedgwick thinks the wizard may need some what? To yield to a wish or demand shows what? Sedgwick showed what in my advice when she crossed Sir Roberts. Lack of knowledge, or what, can lead to misery. I am quivering with what over Sedgwick's absence. I would even break all the rules and use the wizard as a what to find her. A wide street is a what? The what of ignoring a stop sign can be painful.
Sedgwick read that the commissioner was part of a plot. It is spelled C-O-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-E-R, commissioner. Sir Roberts is a lieutenant in the King's Guards. It is spelled L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T, -E -E Lieutenant. This one spells C's, S-E-I-Z-E, -E, C's. The next word is tragedy. T R A G E D Y. Tragedy. The next one is assistance. A S S I S T A N C E. Compliance. It is spelled C O M P L I A N C E. This one spells defiance D E F I A N C E. Ignorance. It is spelled I-G-N-O-R-A-N-C-E. Wait a minute. Something's happening to Sedgwick. Don't put anything away. We aren't finished yet. Maybe I can show you on the crystal ball. I got it. I got it. I spelled ignorance right. That's where I went wrong before. Good. You're halfway home. We've really got to hurry to help Sedgwick. This word is anxiety. A-N-X-I-E-T-Y. This one's consultant. C-O-N-S-U-L-T-A-N-T. The next one's Boulevard, B-O-U-L-E-V-A-R-D. The last one is Consequence, C-O-N-S-E-Q-U-E-N-C-E. -E What is going to happen next? Will Sedgwick ever get home? Tune in tomorrow for another episode of The Apprentice's Journey on Spelling Plus. Special thanks to the City of Orange Police Department. Officers Larry Forrester and Lynn Forrester.
When we left Sedgwick yesterday, she was still in trouble. But I had given the last review words to try to bring her back. Uh-oh. I'm home, I'm home. No welcoming committee? Where is that sleepy-head apprentice of mine? I, well, I just, Sedgwick! Yes, sir? Ah! What are you trying to do? Give me a heart attack? Where did you come from? Sir, sir, I'm so glad to see you. You're back. You're safe. Get a hold of yourself. But sir, you have no but idea. Will you stop me, look at pulling me. me. But sir. Sedgwick. Yes, sir? What on earth is the matter with you? I take a few days off to visit an old friend and return to find you a blithering idiot. Visit an old friend? Of course. That's what I told you in the note I left. What have you been doing while I've been away? Something has addled that head of yours even more. If possible, have you been working on your spells? Yes, sir. You have no idea how hard I've been working on them. And even harder to undo them. You stay out of this. I beg your pardon. I sense something evasive about your answer, Sedgwick. I think I know what you've been doing. You do? Yes, I think you've been sleeping all week and goofing off. Oh, no, sir, I have not. When I came in Monday morning, I came right in here looking for you, and I called and called. Hold it. You. I didn't ask for a moment-by-moment -moment description of the whole week. I want a written report, a short one. What? uh... Like a, like a report of a current event. Use the five W's. The five W's? And it better be convincing or you're out. Now go to your room and write it. My room? Why must you repeat everything I say? Oh, I'm going to check the herb garden. I don't suppose you thought to water it while I was away. As a matter of fact, sir, you'll find it soaked. Huh? I mean, very well watered. Ah! <laughs> Pembroke, I'm going to need your help. I don't even know what the five W's are. And I have to go to my room. Imagine! Just do as he says for a while. You know the wizard. In about five minutes, he'll forget he ever sent you to your room. But what do I write about? If I tell him the truth, he'll fire me for sure. And if I don't tell him, he'll fire me anyways. I'm trapped. Well, go and try to write something anyway. And when you come back, I'll check it. Thanks. Well, students, it looks like we've been left all alone. By the way, thanks for adding your spelling power to Sedgwick's to get her back here again. You must have done very well because it worked. Since it's so unusually peaceful for the moment, why don't we take our spelling test? Take out pencil and paper. Okay, number your paper from 1 to 16. Make a nice, neat row down the page. All right, when I say the word, you write it down. Here we go. Commissioner. Sedgwick read that the Commissioner of Unicorns was part of a plot. Commissioner. The next word is Lieutenant. Sir Roberts is a lieutenant in the King's Guard. Lieutenant. The third word is seize. Sedgwick thinks somebody sees the wizard. Seize.
Tragedy. If Cedric hadn't regained her voice, it would have been a tragedy. Tragedy. The next word is assistance. Sedgwick thinks the wizard may need some assistance. Assistance. The next word is compliance. To yield to a wish or demand. Compliance. The next word is defiance. Sedgwick showed defiance of my advice when she crossed Sir Roberts. Defiance. Ignorance is the next word. Ignorance, that is, a lack of knowledge, can lead to misery. Ignorance. The ninth word is anxiety. I am quivering with anxiety over Sedgwick's absence. Anxiety. Consultant is the next word. I would even break all the rules and use the wizard as a consultant to find her. Consultant. The next word is boulevard. A wide street is a boulevard. Boulevard. The twelfth word was consequence. The consequence of conjuring the wrong spell can be embarrassing. Consequence. The next word is severe. Sedgwick puts a severe strain on my patience. Severe. Suspicion. When the wizard disappeared, Sedgwick felt there was suspicion of foul play. Suspicion. The next word is innocence. They had the innocence of angels. Innocence. And the last word is voluntary. Sedgwick's filing a missing persons report was voluntary. Voluntary. All right, students, let's see how you did. Hope you got them all right. The first word was commissioner. It is spelled C-O-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-E-R, commissioner. The second word was lieutenant. L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T, -E -E Lieutenant.
The third word was seize. S-E-I-Z-E. -E, seize. The fourth word was tragedy. It is spelled T-R-A-G-E-D-Y. Tragedy. The fifth word was assistance. It is spelled A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-C-E, assistance. The sixth word was compliance. It is spelled C-O-M-P-L-I-A-N-C-E, compliance. The next word was defiance. It is spelled D-E-F-I-A-N-C-E, -E, defiance. The eighth word was ignorance. I-G-N-O-R-A-N-C-E, -E, ignorance. Anxiety was the next word. A-N-X-I-E-T-Y. Anxiety. The next word was consultant. C-O-N-S-U-L-T-A-N-T. Consultant. The eleventh word was boulevard, B-O-U-L-E-V-A-R-D, boulevard. The twelfth word was consequence. It is spelled C-O-N-S-E-Q-U-E-N-C-E, -E -E, consequence. Severe is the next word. S-E-V-E-R-E. -E. The fourteenth word was suspicion. S-U-S-P-I-C-I-O-N. Suspicion. Number 15 was innocence. I-N-N-O-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Innocence. The last word was voluntary. V-O-L-U-N-T-A-R-Y. Voluntary. Well, students, that's it for this week's spelling words. Hope everyone got them right. Oh, my word. I just barely escaped alive. Sedgwick! Sedgwick! Yes, sir. I, I was just attacked by those men out there. Who, sir? Oh, you mean Sir Edo out there raw for breakfast Roberts? Yes. I was standing in the herb garden and I, uh, and, uh, did you know it was gone? It was apparently washed away by a storm or something. No, sir, I didn't realize that. I was just standing there and, and I heard this terrible sound like, like a hundred rusty gates opening up. And I, and I looked and, and to see, to see, uh. Yes, to see. Sir Roberts and his men mounting their horses. They formed a straight line and they pointed their lances down and forward and they charged at me. 
Why, well, I barely made it back inside the castle. My word, sir, you barely escaped with your life. Oh, exactly. I, the only thing that saved me was that their armor was full of rust. They couldn't move all of that fast. Lucky break for you, sir. I don't know what they have against me. I, I never did anything against them. I, oh, my stomach. I think I'm going to have an ulcer. Cedric, what do you know about this? Well, nothing, sir. I was in my room. Mm. To rust, armor must get wet. The herb garden was washed away. Cedric, what do you know about this? What have you... Did you make a storm? Well, there was a little atmospheric disturbance, come to think of it. Oh, Cedric, you are giving me an ulcer. I think I've had about all of you I can take. I, oh, I think I'm getting an ulcer. I need some milk for my stomach. Is this milk? Yes, well, no, sir. That's the milk of human kindness. Ah, that's better. What were you saying about it? Nothing. Uh, now, about you, I've had about all of you I can take. I, I'm afraid you'll have to go. But uh, on the other hand, we all have to learn. Uh, you're inept. But you do try. Uh, you'll never learn. I, uh, but you're doing better. Where's that summary? You need a little more time? I. What's happening to me? Do you feel kind of warm and happy inside? Yes! It's terrible! Huh? How strange. Sir Robert. <laughs> I wonder how he'd like a nice big wart on the end of his nose. What an unkind thought. Well, I'm thoroughly ashamed of myself. Huh? Well, now, Sedgy, my dear, you just keep working on that summary, and when I get back, we'll go over it. Perhaps a, a kind piece of advice here and there. When you get back, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to offer Sir Robert some of this milk. It did wonders for me. The kind thing to do would be to share it. But, sir. Bye-bye. Ta-da-da. -bye. Uh, uh, uh. Sedgy? He called me Sedgy, my dear? Pembroke! Oh, there you are. Something awful is going to happen to the wizard. In fact, he's sick. I'm sure of it. I heard the whole thing. Don't worry about the wizard. Even in his state, he can take care of himself. Sir Robert's just caught him by surprise. If you're sure about that, then I'd better work on my summary. Will you help? Of course. Well, I already know that a summary is a statement condensed that includes the main ideas of whatever you're summarizing. But what are the five W's? The five W's are who, what, why, when, and where. The wizard told you to use them because he wanted a short or brief account of your week. But he wanted it to include all the facts. Oh, I see. So the five W's will help keep my summary short and accurate. Right. Well, students, it's going to be interesting to see what Sedgwick writes for the wizard. What would you write if you were she? Take out your pencils and paper, and we'll give you a chance to try it.
Oh, there you are, Pembroke. I was just going to call you to get your opinion on this. Certainly, Sedgwick. Go ahead. Dear Wizard, I thought I'd give it a little personal touch there. I don't know. The wizard actually asked for a summary report and told you to make it like a current event. Well, I've got all the five W's. Listen. During your absence last week, sir, I learned 16 new spelling words and a couple of new spells. That's what and when, okay? Okay. Here's where. Mostly in the castle, of course. Well, none of my spells were successful outside the castle, and I never said they were successful spells. Did I? Sedgwick, in some ways a half-truth is worse than a lie. Well, a whole truth is going to get me fired. I'm not really trying to deceive the wizard. I just don't want him to find out. Sedgwick, Sedgwick, Sedgwick. Oh, all right. Tell him the truth. Hey, can you see him in the crystal ball? Oh, yes. He and Sir Robert and the others are all in the field weaving daisy chains. I can't believe my eyes. Look how the armor is shining so brilliantly in the sun. Yes, the wizard got rid of the rust for them. How long will the effect last from the milk of human kindness? I really had expected it to wear off before now. Sir Roberts and the rest will probably have to sleep it off. Oh, the wizard is coming home now. Oh dear. Pembroke, you're right. My integrity is worth more than my job. I'll confess to everything. I won't lie. Well, to almost everything. Almost? Well, I don't see any real reason to mention the storm since everything's smoothed over with Sir Roberts. Oh, all right, the storm gets included too. Well, I got that problem all fixed up. That Sir uh, What's His Name is not such a bad fellow once he's in a good mood. That's true, <laughs> quite a few people. Yes, now about that summary, uh. What is that? What's what? That in your hand, that uh, queer oh, strange thing. This? Sort of. I forgot I was even using it. Well, I might as well tell you now. I blew a spell and landed in the 20th century. They gave these things away there. Well. Uh. Wow, wonderful. That's wonderful. About my summary, sir. Uh, you say they give these away? Yeah. Uh, that's no ink running all over the page, no blotting, no spotting. Would you like to have it? You mean you would part with this? Yes, you can have it. Why, well, uh, there's... That is necessary. I could conjure up a dozen of these things, just like that. I, I, a hundred. Well, if you don't want it. Well, I didn't say that. I, listen, about that summary, forget it. I, uh, I, I don't want to hear anything about it. Just, just, it would just bore me to tears. I know it. <laughs> that was a close call. Boy, I sure am tired. Changing centuries tired me out. But what I think I better go do is plant a new herb garden. Join us next time for the further adventures of The Apprentice's Journey on Spelling Plus.